Minnesota native Bob Dylan has been performing for more than half a century. And one man has been there every step of the way. Louis Kemp's Dylan and Me, 50 Years of Adventures, will be released this week. It's a uniquely intimate memoir of their lifelong friendship. And we are happy to have Louis Kemp here with us this morning. Welcome. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Good morning. Take us back to the very beginning, Louis. How old were you and how, when you first met Bob and how did you meet him at okay. first? So I met him at summer camp. <laughs> in northern Wisconsin. We were in the same cabin and we hit it off right away. Bobby came to camp with his guitar. Of course. And he carried it with him everywhere and he told everybody that would listen, including me, repeatedly, repeatedly, I'm going to be a rock and roll star. <laughs> he knew it back then. He knew it back then. That was his determination. He, he, there was nothing else in his sights. He was going to be a rock and roll star. And he said it to me so many times. He was 12, I was 11. I believed him. You know, you're, we know him as Bob Dylan. You're yes. calling him Bobby. You know him as Bobby Zimmerman. Yeah. So who is he? He's Bobby Zimmerman to his friends, and he's Bob Dylan to the rest of the world. Who is Bobby Zimmerman? Who's that guy we don't get to see? Well, that's the guy that very few people know. So, uh, you know, Bob Dylan goes on stage, does, sings his songs, doesn't say a word to the audience. He just he speaks with his words and his songs. Bob Zimmerman, Bobby Zimmerman, and I will talk for hours, you know, about everything. So, you know, he shares his, uh, his professional life through his songs. O often it's the other way around, right? People are, uh, assume they have to be outgoing on stage and please the fans, yes. and then they're maybe more quiet or introverted in, in person. Do you, do you find it a little odd that it's reversed? Oh, well, that's who he is. I mean, his value system is different than most entertainers. He doesn't court... Uh, Accusations and, and awards, even though he's got every one you can mention. Uh, think of, you know, he he's he's up there to to share his his talent and his gift. And privately, he just wants to be a you know like everybody else. Now you're sharing some of the stories and yes. the adventures you've shared. The one thing that really stuck out to me is that no matter what age you were. The true friendship came through, no matter how much time had passed since you'd seen each yes. other. That that's what seemed at the core is that lifelong friends stay friends and pick up where they left off. Yes, especially in a situation like Bob's. You know, you know when you become as famous as he did at such a young age. You know, at uh, you know 22, he's already uh, you know on the front page of everything. You know, and uh, you know once you once you write blowing in the wind, you know that's it. You know <laughs> the whole world's sure. ch chasing you around. You know, uh, and uh, so the friendships that he had from the beginning that he knew were real, uh, which him and I were, were that way. I mean, that, those are the ones you can trust and, and feel secure in. So, so now you have to share Bobby Zimmerman with the rest of the world. When's the last time you saw him or talked to him? Well, we haven't talked for a while, uh, but uh, you know, these, these stories, these adventures start in uh, when I was 11 and he was 12 and mm -hmm. they go for 50 years. Wow. And can you give us a little piece of what people could read in the book? Okay. Well, the first they're going to hear about our shenanigans at camp. Mm -hmm. We were, you know, wild little boys, uh, you know, chasing girls and putting shaving cream on, on, on the opposing cabin next door while they were sleeping. You know? Right. I read and about then, that. And then getting walked through the woods by the consulars as, as uh, our penalty for doing that. <laughs> and and why we had a break. It, we're sitting on a log. A log, you know, they're giving us five minutes to rest as they're walking us through the woods. Uh, we said... This, this isn't uh, for us. We got up, we started running, and they started chasing us, and we came by one of the consular's cars, we jumped in and took off. Well, there are a lot of other shenanigans that continue throughout oh, yeah. your relationship. That's just the beginning. Okay? That is just the beginning. And as we get older, they, you know, they change. You know. Yeah, and we know that uh, Bob Dylan knew that you were writing this book, so I'll be yes. interested to hear what his response is. Because I know you just sent it to him. Yes. Louis will be at the Electric Fetus in Minneapolis for book signings tomorrow. Iron Ranger in St. Paul on Monday. Next chapter, booksellers on Tuesday. Majors and Quinn booksellers in Minneapolis Wednesday, and he'll be in Duluth on Thursday. Wow. So a big lineup of events. Yes. Yes. coming up this week. Good luck with that. Yes. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so much it's for good, being it's with good us. good to be in Minnesota where everything started. Absolutely. We're glad to have you back. And it's all through the book. You know, Minnesota, Duluth, Minneapolis. I mean, that's that was our our grounds of, of where we started everything. Check it out. Thank all right, you thanks, so much. Louis.